I think it's special, you know, to, to, to be able to, to work at a job that you, you, something you've done since you were five years old is pretty cool and, um, you know, I feel blessed to be here and uh, we've got, some, got a good group of guys, good teammates and um, I couldn't ask, for, couldn't ask for much more. Um, well, I was... Uh, I was saved at a young age. I uh, grew up in a Christian home. Both my parents are saved, and um, you know, I was fortunate for that. You went to Christian school uh, for most of my time growing up, and I knew I was a Christian, but I didn't know why I was a Christian. I didn't really find those things out. Didn't kind of question it until I was probably you know out of college, and and when you really start searching for you know, I knew I was a Christian. But I want to know why, and um, you know, God helped me. I, I had some struggles in baseball, and was able to bounce back from him, but basically it made me realize that I'm not just a baseball player. I'm a Christian first and then a baseball player. And um, when I started to really realize that was when you know things in my baseball career kind of took off. And I, it's because I stopped worrying about the little things and, and stuff I can't control and, and put it in his hands. And um, you know, things have gone pretty well since then. I think it's it's just the one constant in your life, you know. It, it, teams are going to change, your job's going to change. Um, I just got married a couple months ago, and hopefully that's going to be another constant throughout the rest of my life. God is the one thing that He's there, and you, know, you can talk to Him at any time. And um, it's just nice to have that one thing to fall back on, something that can't be taken away from you. Know, I could get hurt and never play another game, baseball game in my life, but that still wouldn't affect you know my relationship with God. So. Um, it's very, you know, comforting in that sense. I think we, we struggle with a lot of the same things as men, and um, it's just a matter of keeping him first. And, and, you know, I think your priorities can very easily fall out, fall out of whack. Um, you, know, you start worrying too much and trying to take care of things yourself and do things on your own. And, uh, it's probably the worst thing we can do. The, the best way to take care of a problem is put it in his hands. And, you know, that doesn't mean stop working at it or stop trying to you know, make things right yourself, but just trust that you know, he's going to be there in the end. And um, you know, hopefully he's put in a good support system. You've got people that you can talk to, people you can rely on. And that's, a, that's what works for me anyway.